हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शुभम शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द स्कूल ऑफ फार्मेसी मंगलायत यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेंट्रल ड्रग स्टैंडर्ड कंट्रोल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और यू कैन कॉल सी डी एस सी लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्लाइड द फर्स्ट स्लाइड is about the introduction of cdsco the central drug standard and control organization cdsco is main regulatory body of india for regulation of pharmaceutical medical devices and clinical trials the cdsco is the main regulatory authority of india which gives approval which gives permission to the new pharmaceutical products or to the new medical devices and also responsible for initiation of clinical trials in the india cdsco is the central drug authority for discharging function assigned to the central government under the drug and cosmetic act cdsco is the main regulatory authority of india which is responsible for performing various functions under the drug and cosmetic act the headquarter or you can call the head office of the cdsco is located in new delhi india functioning under the control of directorate general of health service ministry of health and family welfare government of india the cdsco work under the DGCI. Now move forward to the next slide. Ministry responsible for Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Minister responsible for Harshvardhan. Now we are discussing about the visions um, of CDSU to promote and protect health in India. now move forward to discuss about the missions of cdsco to provide safeguard and enhance the public health by assuring the safety efficacy and quality of drugs cosmetics and medical devices the cdsco is responsible or cdsco is responsible for providing protection or providing shield to the pupils by enhancing or by assuring the safety efficacy and quality of drugs as well as cosmetic and medical devices in india now move forward to the next slide drug controller general of india dcgi he or c is responsible for approval of new drug medical devices and clinical trials to be conducted in india the person is responsible for giving approval to the new drugs or giving approval to the new medical devices and also responsible for giving approval to the clinical trials which to be conducted in india he is appointed by the central government under the state drug control organization will be functioning the person is responsible for giving approval to the new drug medical devices and also responsible for giving approval to the clinical trials are appointed by the government of india the dg dcgi drug controller general of india is advised by drug technically advisory board and drug consultative committee the dcgi it is body which work in india which are advised or suggested by a body and committee called as drug technical advisory board and consultative committee now move forward to the next slide organizational chart in which we have a first headquarter of cdsu is located in new delhi 
and headquarter is responsible for providing approval to the new drugs and also responsible for the import services zonal offices of cdsu is responsible for gmp audits also responsible for coordination coordination with the states the sub zonal offices of cdsu is responsible for gmp audits and also responsible for coordination with the its states ports airports offices they are responsible for import and export services now laboratories laboratories are responsible for testing of drug samples validation of test protocols in india now move forward to the next slides the zonal offices these are involved in gmp audits and inspection of manufacturing units of large volume parenterals sera vaccines and blood products basically the zonal offices of cdsco is responsible for or involved in the gmp audits goods manufacturing practices audits and inspection of manufacturing units or you can call responsible for the manuf uh, responsible for the inspection of manufacturing site of large volume parenterals vaccines blood product and sera the zonal offices of cdsco is located at mumbai kolkata chennai gaziabad ahmedabad and hyderabad now we are going to be discuss about the sub zonal offices these are responsible for coordinate with states drug control authority under their jurisdiction for uniform standard of inspection these sub zonal offices of cdsco work by coordinating with the state for their jurisdiction for uniform standard of inspection the sub zonal offices of cdsco is located in chandigarh jammu and bangalore now move forward to the next slide ports or airport offices are located in india which is responsible for the import and export services in india the ports and airports are located in delhi chennai hyderabad indore kolkata mumbai kochi visakhapatnam krishna patnam now we are discussing about the laboratories which is responsible for testing samples of new drugs the laboratories for testing sample of drug are located in india at kolkata kasoli mumbai hyderabad chennai chandigarh and guwahati now move forward to the next slide major functions of cdsco regulatory control over the import of drug approval of new drug and clinical trial these are some of the major function of central drug standard control organization it regulatory control over the import of drug cdsco work by controlling the import of drug work by approving of new drug work by approving new clinical trials it control meeting of drug consultative committee the control of meetings of dcc is also a major function of cdsco it gives certain licenses as central license and state license approving authority is exercised by the cdsco headquarters cdsco is also responsible for providing licenses uh, these are some of the major functions of central drug standard control organizations now move forward to the next slide 
central licensing authority what what work they are going to be perform approval of new drug and clinical trials central licensing authority responsible for approval of new drug and clinical trials central licensing authority also responsible for banning of drug and cosmetic which are harmful for the human use next grant of test license personal license central licensing authority also responsible for granting test license personal license next import registrations licensing and approving of blood bank vaccines and medical devices cla is also responsible for import registrations licensing of licensing and approving of blood banks approval of medical devices also responsible for approving of vaccines these are some of the functions of central licensing authority now move forward to the next slide state licensing authority these are some of the functions of state licensing authority licensing of manufacturing site for drug including api and finished product state licensing authority responsible for licensing of manufacturing site for the drug it also includes api raw material and finished product next it give approval of drug testing laboratory state licensing authority also responsible for giving approval or permission of drug testing laboratory next monitoring of quality of drug and cosmetics marketed in india the state licensing authority also responsible for monitoring of quality control parameters of drug and cosmetic product which are marketed in the country next licensing of establishment for sale or distribution of drug state licensing authority also responsible for licensing of establishment for the purpose of selling or distribution of drug next and last state licensing authority also responsible for a recall of sub standard drugs drugs which are not fulfilling all the standards of the authority then the state licensing authority is responsible for recall of sub standard drugs now these some of the functions of state licensing authority now we are going to be move forward to the next slide thank you all of you for watching this video have a nice day thank you